Hello, I've got an unboxing today of the um, 1981 film Basket Case, directed by Frank Hennen Lotter. Um, quite a great um, special effects, um, dingy sort of low budget horror film. Like I say, from 1981. This is the new Arrow release on 4K. Features HDR high dynamic range. Let's get in there and have a look. Um, I thought the Arrow store variant was beautiful. They had a beautiful slip cover, but I am... Um, pre-ordered this um a little late so i didn't manage to get hold of the arrow edition i wish i had have done because as nice as this slip cover looks that was a very bright and colorful slip cover with some very good sort of like cartoony um animations on but this will do you know i'm just happy to have the film on um, 4k but i would have liked that arrow store variant but as you can probably imagine the scalpers have um taken hold now and it's going for like 80 pounds on the um ebay Whereas it was the same price near enough as this release. I think even the same on the Arrow store when it was first um, up for pre-order. Now it's um, out of stock. The scalpers have got it and it's about £80. So won't be paying that. I did just knock the camera there. Sorry, the um, tripod. But yeah, this is really nice. Um, they did a re Arrow did a Region A um, edition of Basket Case um, a few years back. And it had this slip and artwork. So... But for the UK market, this is a fresh, like, sort of release and artwork. Um, the 4K um, apparently is really nice, like, good good clear picture and stuff, you know, for a film shot on 16mm. I can't wait to um, see it. It will be going on next. Um, excuse my bad voice, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so it's quite hard to um, talk. But yeah, really nice slip cover. It's kind of shiny. It's got, you know, like the creature's hand coming out of the um, basket. Great film from Frank Henenlotter as well. This looks stacked. There's a look at all the special features. This is an upgrade for me because I did have um, this release, the Second Sight Trilogy, which I'm keeping because it's got the other two films. That's the sort of artwork, that similar sort of artwork style was on the um, Arrow slip. A little bit different, but that kind of like colour palette was on the arrow variant it looked very nice this is the second sight release with all three films so you got the first film basket case um basket case two and basket case three the sequels do take a dip in quality there's some fun creatures in there like you got these guys in the sequels but um the film was the films as a whole aren't as good as the original i don't think anyway it's a 4k upgrade for me like i say um region a did a release like with this sort of um slip cover and artwork for blu-ray a few years back now we're getting the 4k so take the beautiful slip off very nice slip nonetheless the um sort of standardy sort of slip and it is a limited edition because the slip will be out of print eventually but that arrow store variant's a bit special this is the more common slip i think that's sold everywhere there's a look at the artwork it looks brilliant love that the Tenant in Room 7 is very small, very twisted and very mad. Yeah, it's a crazy film. A lot of crazy stuff going on. So look at the back. Certificate 18. Yeah, I'm quite a fan of Basket Case. It is a lot of fun. So you just get the one disc with Arrow. They didn't bother doing the um, Blu-ray. You just get the 4K disc again. Brilliant artwork. Looks like you've got a poster in there. Um, here's the alternative art which will be the theatrical art it's got that it's pretty fun may have a bit of yeah as you can see there i'll just try and poke it out there you go you can see it there it's just the theatrical um, art not as good as the newly new stuff i don't think so a little play around try and get the sleeve in properly yeah, this looks very nice. Um, what do you get then? A poster and a book? No, yeah, you do get a book. Wow, that's great. Didn't know you got a book with this release. I've watched a few unboxings, but I didn't look at the. I can't remember whether you got a book or not. I'm trying to sort the sleeve out, guys, because I put it on a bit wonky. I'm a little bit fussy with my stuff. A little bit of OCD kicking in. Um, here's the poster. Wow, I wonder if it's a double-sided one. Yeah, it's a double-sided poster too. That's really cool. Here's the poster you get with the, um, pretty much that basket case. 
I'll try and zoom out a little bit. There you go, you can see it. Bit of a glare, but that's the poster. And I'll just move that back if I can. Yeah. Get an advertisement for Carlito's Way. Well, I already have that. And you get this nice little booklet um, with cool artwork. There we are. Love the colour tones to this book. This is great. Got your cast information, your crew information, contents, essays, scenes from the um, film. Yeah, it is a mad little film. It's absolutely bonkers. There's some great special effects, though. Stop motion as well. Some brilliant stop motion scenes. Looks like we've got a little bit of a comic in here. There's a scene. Here's a little comic book. Champagne in the park. Champagne in the park. Very cool. Ah. Oh, God. Bilal, no. Yeah, the little guy in the basket's called Bilal. I'm not going to go into too many details about the plot um, yet. They are production credits and there's a picture of Bilal. Horrible, creepy little, grotesque, um, mutated little thing. <clears throat> that was a look at the book anyway. You get a poster, book, get your armory case. Oh, I'll just show you quick. Got your nice slip cover, armory case, poster, booklet, advertisement. Not that the advertisement's anything to get G'd up about. I mean, it's an advertisement for a film that's been out for about a year. So, that's not too exciting. They could have at least put one of the future, um, done a little teaser with a future um, thing. Yeah, I'm not very well, so this video's not as smooth as it could be. Still, there you go. Let's look inside. I'm going to watch that now. I'm ill, and I'm going to sit and watch it, if I can actually close it. There we go. Basket case on 4K. 4K upgrade for me from the Second Sight Trilogy set, which I am keeping, like I said, because it's got the other two films in on um, Blu-ray, the sequels that haven't been released on 4K yet. I don't know if I would get those on 4K unless the package and presentation was um, particularly um, nice from Arrow or somebody, but that's the um, trilogy there. So I've got the trilogy and the 4K now. Nice. So what I'm going to do... That was just my chair moving around. I'm going to watch this on 4K and then I'm going to do a little review for it. So stand by and the review for the 4K disc will be um, coming up. Okay, let's go. Hey, so I just got <clears throat> done watching the Unbasket um, Case 4K. Um, yeah, from what source material they had, considering it, you know, it's a pretty low budget film at the time, it looks really nice. Um, I've got it here. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Probably um, the most fun I've had watching it, which is normally the case when I do upgrade to 4K because the films just look so much more. The presentation's just a little, got a little bit more shine on it. Yeah, it's got good clarity to it. A um, little bit of grain. It's not the grainiest old film I've watched on 4K, but yeah, the, it's got a bit of a bit of a grain to it. Not like not over the top or anything. Not even that noticeable always. Some of the scenes look fantastic, like the opening scene looked great with the um, doctor um, in the house and um, obviously Bilal comes and uh, murders him. That scene in that house when he's on the telephone asking the um, police for help, that scene particularly looked very had very clear and had some great clarity to it. So transfer wise, really good. Um, obviously not the best looking 4K because of the source material, but yeah, for what it was and the source elements they had it yeah really really nice looking 4k very impressed with that the film's a lot of fun as well um most of you guys will probably know the story of basket case um, i'm not going to sort of reveal too much but this chap's um going around with his own basket there's something in there it's um set in new york city he goes to stay in a dungy um hotel dingy should i say hotel room um, and everything unfolds. Um, he has a love interest. Things go wrong there when um, Bilal is involved. It's got some really funny scenes as well. Um, like um, quite a gross scene towards the end is where um, he's dreaming. And um, he's dreaming about his girlfriend somewhere. And then he realises Bilal's gone. 
goes downtown and he finds Bilal on top of his girlfriend and um, basically like he's trying to um Bilal's trying to you know play with her and basically have sex with her and um he's been cutting her up and stuff and then he like puts his hand he chokes her to death basically and has killed her he has to remove Bilal in quite an um gruesome scene where there's a lot of blood on the bottom of Bilal that scene's um quite memorable um another good scene is where the um Bilal goes crazy in the bedroom when he's left watching television and it's a stop motion um some stop motion brilliance to be fair but the actual scenes where Bilal's not um close up and he's actually mo you see him moving around in motion which is done in stop motion um animation looks very good for the time I mean you can tell it's low budget and stuff but yeah really um really good so yeah I'd say the transfer's pretty darn good um if I had to rate the transfer out of five I'd probably give it like a good like solid like three and a half for what it is like not the best transfer going or anything it won't be but for basket case this is the best it's going to look so if you haven't got basket case at all grab it if you've got basket case on blu-ray and you fancy upgrading and you're a big fan of the film like myself it's well worth upgrading to yeah some good clarity there um so enjoyed the film again I'm sick as a dog, as you can probably tell, like got a really bad um, virus. Um, I thought before I go, obviously I did the unboxing and I spoke a little bit about the transfer and stuff in the film. I haven't got around to watching the special features yet. There's a plethora of special features, as you can see. I shall get, I've watched some before on the other, um, on the second side edition, but I shall get around to the special features um, later on. <clears throat> I just wanted to get on with watching the, um, you know, the new 4K. So um, anyway, Frank Hennelot is a really fun director who did um, Basket Case. He does a lot of crazy stuff. There's more crazy films in his filmography. Um, like I said earlier, you got the Basket Case 2 and 3, you got the sequels. This is a set from Second Sight, which is worth the pickup. You can get it at a good price. They did a Steelbook variant too. It's got 1, 2 and 3 in it. Obviously, I've got the first one on 4K now, but 2 and 3 is worth, this set's worth keeping for 2 and 3. Synapse um, have released um, Basket Case 2 and 3 over um, Region A in the US so you can pick those editions up they've got fantastic artwork on as well another crazy one from F director Frank Hennelot is Brain Damage um, this one reminds me of Basket Case because of its um, aesthetic it's got that kind of dark aesthetic again and I think the majority of his films are set in New York yeah Basket Case has a great backdrop in New York where the where you know you got shots of New York and the apartment um, overlooking parts of New York and stuff it looks really good but yeah Brain Damage is another fun one worth a look that's the Arrow Video Edition it's a good one so never seen if you like Frank Hand and Lotter and Basket Case give the sequels a go and give Brain Damage a go a really fun one that I loved and I've only watched it once was Frankenhooker this is the um, Arrow Video Edition great film about this um sort of crazy scientist guy basically um creates a lawnmower that becomes out of control and um, accidentally kills his girlfriend. He then seeks out um, hookers, prostitutes, gets various different body parts, puts them together and um, with his girlfriend's head and creates a Franken hooker. And she's all, she's like, her neurological pathways are all messed up and she's crazy and she thinks she's a hooker, yet it's meant to be his girlfriend. So he did try and resurrect his girlfriend, but it turns out she's just absolute kooky like Frankenhooker. And it's a good wacky film. Another fun one from Frank Hendelot. And then, of course, you have this new release that's just got done by Severin. That's the um, Bad Biology. This is one of his later films from um, 2008. Um, I enjoyed this one too. Another great Frank Hendelot film, basically about... Um, genital mutations on male and females and it's about this woman and this man and basically how they meet up and um the crazy carnage that ensues in between and another great film from frank frank um Henenlar. he's a really fun director i think there's a couple more bits i've not seen from him but i've seen most of his main films and they're really yeah lots of wacky fun anyway i will um say um just overall basket case on 4k from arrow definitely worth a pick up um the blu-ray's good like what the blu-ray releases that have previously been released are good but yeah i think this is worth an upgrade and um if you've never had the film before it's definitely worth a pick up all right then i'm gonna go and try and get myself better because i want to do the um giveaway later for the um hellraiser 4k and the borderlands blu-ray um got a bit of a bad throat i was just trying to rest up yesterday it was meant to be um scheduled in for yesterday but i'll do it later i'll keep you posted on that one anyway thanks for watching this um 
unboxing and review for Basket Case on 4K from Arrow Video. Thanks. See you on the next one. Bye.